Google Analytics 4 has a feature called comparisons. This feature allows you to compare your data and charts in standard reports with a subset of your data. This feature sounds and works very similar to advanced segmentation in Universal Analytics, the previous version of Google Analytics. However, this feature has limitations, which means you can't compare it with the segmentation feature. There is also a segmentation feature in Google Analytics that I covered in a different video. In this video, I will walk you through the process of creating and using comparisons. So if you're ready, let's dive in. Go to Google Analytics and open any CAN report. On this screen, you can see it is the report snapshot. By default, it shows the data for all the users. As you can see right here, it's all users. If you go to any other report, you will see that this also shows you the data for all users. Next to all users, there is a button that allows you to add a comparison. Click on it and this opens up a window that allows you to build the comparison that you want to use for your analysis. You can build up to five comparisons and add them to your report. To build a comparison, you can either include a dimension or exclude a dimension. Let's go ahead and build one comparison so you can see how it works. I am going to build a comparison that will allow me to see how the users from United States are behaving as compared to all users. So the condition I'm going to use is include. Then I have to pick the dimension. Click on this box to open the list of dimensions that you can use. If you scroll down, you can see a bunch of dimensions that you can use for your comparisons. Since I am building a comparison based on the country, I will select country here and then select the dimension value. So click here again and, and type in United. And as I'm typing, you'll notice that this list matches whatever I'm typing here. So now I have all the countries that match what I'm typing here. And I can click United States, click on OK. And now my comparison is created. Include country is equal to United States. If I have to include another condition, I can simply click here and add that condition. You can use any of the other dimensions for that condition. But for our case, we're just going to focus on one condition, which is country is equal to United States. Once your comparison is done, go ahead and click on apply. Now you can see the comparison of all the users, which is in blue color, with the users from United States, which is in orange color here. All your data is now showing you comparisons of all users and the comparison that you created, which is in orange color. As you move from one report to another, this comparison will stay here. So I can go to user acquisition. And here you can see that I still have those comparisons available. If you want to add more comparisons, simply click on add comparison and build another comparison here. If you don't want to do that, to get out, simply click on X. If you have to edit your comparison, go ahead and click on edit comparison here. And this is where you'll see all your comparisons. You can simply click on these three dots and click on edit comparison. And if you want to add another condition, you can go ahead and add that condition here. If you have to delete any condition after you add it, simply click on this icon and it will delete that condition. Any conditions that you add here are connected via an AND operator. So keep that in mind, which means all the conditions that you specify will have to be met for that comparison to be created. For example, let's say I want to look at all the females from United States. The user has to be from United States as well as the user has to be a female. So let's go ahead and create that condition so that you can see how it works. So click on add new condition. You'll notice right here is and operator. 
that means both these conditions will have to be met. So select your dimension, gender, select your value, female in this case, and click on OK. Now, your summary says include country is equal to United States and gender is equal to female. That means in this comparison, we will be only focusing on females from United States. Once you're done, click on apply. Now, this new comparison is created and applied. As you can see, it pretty much went to zero. That means Google Analytics does not have the gender information for the users on this site. And hence, by adding this new condition, the comparison is showing zero users. Let's go ahead and, and edit this comparison again. So click on these three dots, edit comparison, and to delete the condition, simply click on the delete icon next to the condition. Once done, click on apply. Now we are back to all the users from United States. So that's it. This is how you create comparisons. Keep in mind, there is no way for you to save the comparisons. Once you exit Google Analytics, the comparisons that you have created will be gone. In order for you to reuse them in future, you will have to recreate them. In another video, I talked about segments in Google Analytics 4. Segments do get saved, so you don't have to recreate them every time you come back. They are very similar to comparisons, though a bit more advanced. However, those segments are not available to be used in the predefined reports. You can only use them in exploration. If you are interested in learning about segments in Google Analytics 4, then make sure to check out the link in the description of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, and hit the bell icon so that you never miss out on any new videos from me. There is also a link for free training in the description of this video. So go ahead and click on it, and I will see you in the next video.